Yo, what's up guys, Sam here, and today we're gonna to be talking about this. This is the Port Keys LI2 EVF. It's an external uh, electronic viewfinder that honestly packs quite a lot of features for the price that you're paying for, and frankly, this is a really, really affordable EVF. And today we're gonna to be talking about whether this EVF is for you. Now the specs for this, this has a 2.4 inch screen inside the EVF, it's about 300 nits of brightness, which sounds really little, but because you're viewing it in such a dark and closed situation, uh, I have not found the 300 nits of brightness to be an issue. In fact, uh, even in really, really harsh sunlight, afternoon sunlight, I can see just fine. Uh, it has a resolution of 1440 by 900. I can take up to a 4K signal. It's powered by a single LPE6 Canon battery, as well as a DC input. It has a single HDMI in. It has four custom function buttons buttons where you can basically assign any one of these custom function buttons to whatever that you uh, want on it. The whole thing is made of plastic, uh, well not the whole thing, the loop part here is made of plastic and this portion here is a metal or aluminum or something like that and a really nice on and off button and the one thing that I really like about this EVF is that it doesn't take long for you to turn it on maybe like one two maybe about three seconds max now it also has this brown thing which is the diopter uh, so if you're wearing glasses like me you can actually adjust it so what's really great about this EVF is it's actually really light considering because it's mostly made of plastic and lightweight material now it does feel a little bit cheap when compared to more expensive EVFs like the Zucuto EVFs but you have to understand that the price that you're paying for for this but I have dropped this a couple of times there are a couple of nicks and dents around here but it's not stopped working on me and it's just fine so now that we talked about the build quality and specs, let's talk about the usability, uh, more so the pros and cons of using this EVF. Now for me, the specs of the EVF are uh, not as important as the usability because when I'm looking for an EVF, I only want it for one thing or at least two things. Number one, obviously the third point of contact and just being able to see my image in a much more intimate, private situation. Uh, so the specs are not super important for me. It's how the EVF works and how it fits into my rig that's the most important. So let's talk about the pros first. Obviously the biggest pro about this EVF is how small, compact and lightweight this is. It's like it fits right in the palm of my hand. And why this is really good is it, when you are talking about building up your rig. Uh, it's already pretty massive already. You have a VMAR, you have an external monitor, uh, you have lenses, you have a grip and things like that. Your, your camera package does add up uh, in weight and in size and just having an EVF that's just meant for one thing only. That's just one thing that's just to see your image in a much more, uh, much more private situation. Having something that's lightweight and small like this just allows you to save a bit more weight on your, on your rig and allows you to just reposition it wherever you want. Uh, the other really fantastic thing about this is obviously going to be the custom functions or the amount of focus and exposure assist tools that you have on this. I don't use everything because my C70 does already have it. Uh, I use false color on this, I use zoom and I use peaking as well. And I would have liked to see a HDMI out as well. The main thing is now that if I have a monitor, uh, and I have a wireless transmitter. I now have to actually, this is the final output of the HDMI. So the way I would do this is my camera's HDMI goes into my external monitor, my external monitor goes into my Vaxis transmitter and this transmitter goes out to, these, uh, to this uh, EVF. I would have liked the Vaxis to be the last thing in the HDMI loop as uh, just to avoid latency. But again, I totally understand this is a relatively affordable monitor, uh, EVF, and so I can't really complain. Also, what's really good about this thing is that this EVF is actually really, really sharp. You can actually tell if something is in focus. Uh, despite the screen itself being really, really small, uh, I will come to that later in the, the cons part, but I really like how sharp this, this, this screen is. You can tell, uh, even without using focus speaking, whether you are in focus or not. So now let's look at the cons of this EVF and the things I think can be improved and the main thing that I can I think should be improved in the next generation is this EVF cover. It's it's honestly the biggest downside of this EVF and the main reason for this is because as you can see it's really really thin. It's not a thick it's not a thick cushion and while it's not the most comfortable. It is comfortable. Uh, the main problem with this is because it's not an eye cup. When you are actually shooting, 
sometimes there are going to be light leaks coming in from the side. So what you find yourself doing is you really have to press yourself against it. And if you're not wearing glasses, your eye is, as when you press it really, really hard, your eye or your eyelid or whatever is actually going to touch the glass of the EVF itself and it's already gonna smudge it. See, I've already smudged it already and I find myself needing to just wipe it constantly because I'm pressing so hard against it. Uh, and that's really, really the biggest downside of this. Uh, and also this EVF uh, cover, it does not have Velcro on top here, on this portion here. So when you're, sometimes when I'm moving around, it can actually come out and if you're not careful and you're like pointing the sun, pointing down, it's gonna burn inside, which is not going to be, uh, which is not fun at all. Another thing that I found is the actual screen itself, the 2.4 inch screen inside. I find it a little bit too small at times. It just feels like the image is so tiny uh, that I can't really notice small, small things in the frame. I, that's why I have to only use this as a compositional tool and not something that I can like pinpoint uh, areas of improvement in the frame. I'll use an external monitor for that. This is just merely for composition. Now, the, another thing about the screen itself is I found that out of the box, the screen itself is not the most accurate. It has this really strange magenta tint over it. Uh, it's not a huge problem for me personally because once again, I don't use this for color. I just use this for compositional tool as well as that third point of contact when it comes to like shooting. Uh, I know that you can calibrate it inside. I think that's like tint uh, and shift. You can actually change the color of the actual screen itself but straight up uh, it's not really really that good so yeah so those are my pros and cons of the actual EVF itself which comes to my final question is who is this EVF for I think there is only one major reason as to why you would pick choose this EVF over say something that's more expensive the biggest value of the Li really is its size and weight if you're looking for a an EVF that's just meant to see your composition you want you just want an EVF and you don't want it to be super obtrusive in your rig there really is no other option. I think Zekuto has some, but those are Zekuto stuff is already really, really expensive. And you won't find another EVF in this price point that will give you that value of size and weight option and the features that it gives you. But if you're looking for something that's meant for like, you know, critical viewing of your image to really analyze your image, I think that the screen in this is far too small for you to really, really observe your, your entire your entire frame and as, as long as you understand that uh, you're going to get a lot of value out of this EVF so yeah uh, thank you so much Keys, for sending this out to me I really had a blast shooting with it uh, this is now a permanent uh, fixture on my rig because it's just so small and light despite some of its shortcomings uh, I really do enjoy using this EVF uh, if I missed anything out or if you have any questions, do drop them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Thank you so much to Port Keys again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video.